What is your name, position, and company? My name is Dwindle Patrick. Um, I work for U U.S. Department of State. Um, I'm a security engineer officer. How did you get started in cybersecurity? Security professional began about 20 years ago uh, when I joined the Foreign Service as a security engineering officer. What is your educational background? My main degree was uh, mechanical engineering. Um, I received that from Georgia Tech Institute of Technology. So successfully graduated from that, I ended up going back to Clark Atlanta to pursue my math degree. How hard was it to change to cyber? That's a huge leap for me. Um, again, uh, when I came aboard as to uh, the Foreign Service, uh, we had to take a lot of uh, technology courses. So at the time, they were looking for uh, transitioning some of the engineers to do cybersecurity. So uh, going through that, that initial shock of it, because I wasn't familiar with computers, I started working very hard and, and trying to learn gradually. So that's why when I was interested and finally we came over to cybersecurity, I started finding people who were gonna pour into me. Um, and so I started developing these skills. What do you recommend for STEM students? If you have a, a curious mind, if you like solving problems, if you like to look at the long game and, and try to develop an understanding of how things work, then cybersecurity allows you to do all those things. Do young people today need to be more aware of phishing emails? They have to deal with technology, but now the technologies that we used to have is right here in the palm of their, their hand. So each day they're interacting and um, kind of feeding on to your uh, analogy, when they have software updates, that's why it's very important to update your phones with the latest um, patches because the experts are working behind the scenes to make sure that your system is working perfectly. Televisions are now possibly doing uh, things that you have to be aware of. So it's going to be everywhere from uh, small devices, all of, you know, internet of things to um, planes are going to have that technology embedded. So I find that the youth are more capable to able to transition and understand those at an earlier age and then when they start progressing in their career or in their life with this technology it'll be second nature what was your favorite subject to learn my strong suit when i was younger was mathematics because again um, i took a, a problem and i was able to kind of figure out the the, the pieces in regards to the chess is it important to learn? Yes, uh, any age actually, um, because chess just forces you to make a decision, to weigh all angles, to um, you know try to predict the outcome of your opponent, and tying it into mathematics, sciences. That curiosity bled over to those those type of subjects as well, because the curiosity of if I mix these things together, what will happen? When you're using um, rationale, you know, in your thinking process, once you understand how it works, then now you can apply it. And now as a, like a chess, the chess reference, now you can start thinking as the opponent. And as you make changes or uh, decisions, then now you can counter those decisions because now you're thinking about the opponent from his or her point of view. So with that, you can eliminate choices and and and, and kind of fine tune what the, the bad guy is gonna do. Should we all be concerned about the dangers of cyber? Uh, we should be very concerned with it, but it shouldn't stop us from uh, interacting with the device. We should always try to make sure that we understand to a certain extent, how it works, what makes it function, how to um, install software uh, to protect yourself, how when I go into public, I use a virtual private network to protect my data across different uh, networks that I don't control or not familiar with. Even in, and when you're doing wireless, 
the same thing is there. Wireless is just like radio signals that are out there. That's just for, you know, if you look at a net, uh, you can just swoop that fly out of the air. And now that becomes uh, data just being transmitted everywhere.